And welcome to our first Bank of the West Husker football show for the year. Disappointing ending to the game and the trip to Ireland, which was a really good experience for the team. But Huskers come up short just to play here or there. It made the difference again. Yeah, epically disappointing. And, uh, you know, I, I, I know we were ready to play this game. Uh, they beat us a little bit physically, and, and that surprises me. And we got some stuff to clean up. Clean up. Got a lot to get to in the next half hour. We'll come back with some look at the first half highlights. That's next. Welcome back to the Bank of the West Husker football show. Nebraska traveled to Dublin, Ireland. Great turnout of Husker fans. Over 13,000 Husker fans made the trip over here to root on their big red team. And you guys were fired up and ready to go. You get the football first, and what a nice drive to start the game. Yeah, mentally and emotionally, the guys were ready to play. Um, you know, they, they won the toss and deferred. We got the ball, and, and we put together a good drive. Casey Thompson was able to show off some really good things in this first drive for you to win you down the field. They used a lot of different guys. You got a lot of guys involved in the passing game. Yeah, we did. Um, I think, you know, we, we threw it pretty well. We didn't run it well enough or consistent enough, and they did a better job of that than we did. And um, at the end of the day, that's one of the things that made a difference. How do, how do you feel like he managed the game in his first start as a Husker? You know, one of the real positive things to take out of this is he, he's good enough to win us a lot of football games. Um, I thought he made some spectacular plays, uh, threw the ball well. Um, he, he's going to give us a chance in every game. So a nice drive for the Huskers. Isaiah Garcia Castaneda makes that first touchdown catch. And your defense got after it in this first quarter. Got a, a nice stop here on this drive. Yeah, we didn't get any any pressure uh, all game, and, and that hurt us. Uh, and we got some really good guys capable of rushing the passer. That you know, They were chipping our defensive ends with backs and receivers and tight ends, and and that made a difference. Uh, you know, and we were just – we got up 11 twice, weren't able to put it away. So they pin you deep with a punt. They kind of win the field position battle here in this part of the game. You weren't able to do anything on that drive, and they were able to move it down here, but your defense stiffens to hold them to a field goal. Yeah, getting off with a field goal was good. Um, I thought we played well on special teams, and uh, you know they just had a couple more chances to pin us than we did them. I thought we punted it extremely well. Um, but that, having that kind of starting field, field position is tough to to get a drive done. Here's a nice end of drive for you as you get it down the field. Nice move here. Had just a bunch of guys making some plays. Anthony Grant had himself a pretty good debut. And here's a really amazing play by Casey. Yeah, Casey made a few amazing plays today. Uh, I thought that one was picked from the sideline. I thought Travis made an unbelievable play to get that done too. Here's Casey again, then finding this play down inside. And they get a pass interference penalty to get you down inside and you're able to punch it in here. Yeah, we actually had a bust on this. The, uh, tailback went the wrong direction, so we have some things to, to clean up. Um, it, it's tough to get the ball in on the Big Ten defenses down there, and um, sometimes you have to have some good scheme stuff, and he barely got over. Now you're up 14-3. feel like you're in control, but you have a bust on defense on this drive that leads to a touchdown that kind of gives them a little bit of momentum to get back in the game. Yeah, they went to an unbalanced formation. Um, only really had two guys going downfield, and we're supposed to bracket that, and neither guy really did their job. So that's on us as a coaching staff. Um, I know that the kids are, are taught the right thing to do, but uh, we can't suck up on the run in a situation like that. And uh, guys got guys got to do their job. That makes it 14-10. Your offense then has a couple series that couldn't get a whole lot going. Looks like this drive was going to end in points, but you have a turnover. Yeah, this was, this was big. I think 21-10 um, would have put us in a good situation at halftime, most likely. Uh, and then if we would have started the third quarter like we did, the game probably would have been out of reach. Um, you know, I, I wanted the guys to attack today, just get after them, not worry about anything. The only thing I, I told them to worry about was uh, making sure we took care of the ball. And uh, a couple times we didn't. That was a bang-bang play with Isaiah. He was really close to being down before the ball came out, but he's got to protect it all the way through the end of the end of the play. Yeah. So Northwestern now kind of feeling good, and they are able to grab the lead on you here late in the first half. Yeah, a shame as, as many good things as we did in the first half to come in uh, to halftime behind. Um, yeah, but the kids responded, uh, and, I, and I thought we put ourselves in good position. Kind of, you had a couple of good big runs, but not a lot of consistency in the run game. Not near enough consistency, and and. Um, you know, we were hopeful we could do some simple things and, and run the ball a little better than we did. Uh, I thought they were vastly improved on both sides of the line. And, uh, 
and, and we didn't win enough times. They're a third and goal. They're able to find the guy on a seam route, take the lead on you. You have a few seconds left in the half, and you get it down and at least give yourself a chance to get some points with a long field goal traffic. We did. The guys did a good job uh, getting down there. Um, we put Frankie in. He has the biggest leg to try to get uh, tied at halftime and uh, came close, but wasn't there. So 17-14, the score at the half. Huskers down by three, but a good start to the second half is coming up. We'll get to that next. We're back in the Bank of the West Husker football show. Nebraska down 17-14. They get the ball. It's kind of a scary point. They get the ball, start third quarter, but your defense is up to the challenge. Yeah, we played well in spurts. Um, again, uh, we didn't get enough pass rush, and I, I think we allowed too many pass, uh, rushing yards, and they had the one big mistake on defense. And uh, when these games are close and come down to a few plays, that, that's too much. So you get the ball back, long field again, and this is another really nice drive of the offense. Yeah, again, did right. some did some good things. We didn't do it consistently enough. Bokaluk played well for you when he was in before the before the injury. He did. I hope he's okay. Uh, he's he's one of our leaders and best players. And uh, this was pretty spectacular. Great job staying alive by the receiver and the quarterback. Isaiah Garcia Castaneda makes the catch. Casey able to spot him down the field. This gets you right back into this thing. That was a third down play that that happened there, and you're able to grab the lead back. Yeah, good job hitting the hole uh, by AG, and felt felt pretty good at this point. Anytime you're ahead in a game like this, so then you get a turnover. This is what you know. You, I know Coach Jens is really trying to find guys who make some plays on defense, and you get one right here. Yeah, you know they they were driving. Uh, we got to do a better job with those run fits, and a really good hit, and and came up with a, a turnover. Took a shot on first down and get, didn't get it, and I thought this was a. A really good individual effort, well blocked, but individual effort by AG and uh, felt really good again. Best run of the game by far, the 46-yard dash, his second touchdown of the game. Now you're up 28. So for the second time, you got an 11-point lead in this game. Had to feel really good. And then comes the onside kick. Yeah, I'm kicking myself. We had, you know, we we talked all week about being aggressive as a team. Uh, you can see the hole over here that we're supposed to kick the ball into, and uh, we didn't kick it anywhere near as well as we did in practice, but. Um, you know, I, I wanted to be aggressive and telling the kids to, to be aggressive, and, and we had a plan. I stuck to the plan of when we were going to use that. Um, you know, was trying, thinking I could trust the defense that, that we wouldn't give up a touchdown even if we didn't get it, and um, wasn't a good decision. So Northwestern gets back to within four of the touchdown there, so the short field does lead to points for them. Your offense, from this point really on in the game, just had a hard time finding something to happen. There was a missed opportunity because Trey had beaten the defense deep. Yeah, they're a really disciplined team, and we knew where we could take our shots and um, had a chance there. That would have been an important throw to make, and, and we got to convert on those. So Northwestern has the ball really getting late in the third quarter. There's a big penalty on them at the end, the end of the third quarter, set up a third and long. They're not able to pick up the first down. And they missed the field goal, keeping you in front. So you kind of felt like, all right, now you have a momentum back, but the offense not able to do it. Right? Yeah, the, the missed field goal was big. Um, thought our kickers and punters played pretty well today, particularly Brian Buscini. Um, we started this drive off great, and we got to capitalize here and, and make it a, a bigger lead or a, a two-score game. And um, the, the interception hurt us here. The run back hurt us even more to, to put him right back. You know, that's a little demoralizing for a defense to get a stop and get off the field and have the offense show up right right where he left off. Two good backs from Northwestern. Hole went over 1,000 last year. Porter ran hard. Uh, those two guys made some nice cuts and nice moves. There's one for a score to put them in front. I was impressed with their backs. I thought they, they ran well. Uh, they had some good scheme stuff. Um, you know, I wasn't crazy about this call. We started off with a reverse there to try to get the ball to Trey. A um, couple of these short passes, I think we just got to take a little steam off them. Um, and, the, and those are important drives. Uh, particularly any time you're in a tight game, you're just not going to get that many possessions. And we got to be a little better. You pinned him deep with the pump, but you couldn't get a stop until about here on the 40-yard line. You had to burn your timeouts to give your, at least the, the offense the ball back with a chance to get it done. Yeah, um, started off okay. Uh, you know, again, it, that they did a great job on their special team right when it mattered, and uh, this would have been an easy first down if we just make the throw and catch. And uh, feel terrible for Wyatt; he's had a great camp, and 
again, that, that pass needs to be just completed, not necessarily smoked in. And um, it, it, extremely disappointing. That's the final 3128. We're back with more of the Bank of the West Husker football show next. We welcome you back to the Bank of the West Husker football show. Huskers were hard at work all summer doing all those things you do to get ready for a football season, but they left a little bit of time for some fun. They had a hamburger creation contest with the judge, one of them anyway, being Trev Alberts. Here's a look. Well, I just thought the competition was outstanding. I thought the, uh, the student athletes did a great job. They had a great perspective, full of energy, and, and I think they took it really seriously. That was really neat, and that was uh, a real challenge for us as judges because um, the food was fantastic. The burgers were very original, very different, um, but all very, very good, and it was a tough competition. We just cooked some burgers from Omaha State, uh, best beef in the state, um, just had a competition. Uh, finished second, uh, Keegan Menning came up on top. Shout out to him, but we had an absolute blast here at the Nebraska training table, go Big Red. I thought it was such a neat competition, getting all the kids involved. Each one of them had such unique ideas on it. It was really tough to choose. Uh, every one of them could have been a winner, but at the end of the day, there's only one winner. I personally like the mac and cheese burger. Uh, multiple layers of bread. Uh, I could have finished the whole thing myself, but Trev wanted some as well. But Omaha Steaks, very thankful to be a part of the, of the competition. What a fun event. Part of making a great burger, obviously, is having great ingredients. And so each one of our offensive linemen and, and football players had a competitive advantage in a sense because Omaha Steaks provided, you know, just sudden incredible uh, uh, beef to work with and yeast as ch cheese is about as good as you can possibly get. Yeah, so the competition was really fun. I enjoyed being with the other guys. I had a lot of fun, um, especially being with all my fellow linemen. I think we have like five or six of us in the competition. I mean, it was an awesome time and came out with this, so. Great Nebraska companies uh, and we got to use some high quality ingredients that led to just great product and uh, and a great eating experience, frankly. So it was uh, our privilege as judges to get to participate in 12 different burgers that were all fantastic. And, and by the way, we just had a lot of fun doing it. A lot of intrigue about any Husker football season, but maybe extra spiced up this year with all the changes, not only to the staff, but the 18 transfers into the program. Takes a shot down the field, looking for the end zone. The pass is caught, and that is a touchdown, Nebraska. Oh, what a grab on the far side. He comes back toward the line of scrimmage, snap back to, in case he keeps it himself, he leans, he is in. in. Touchdown, Nebraska. Thompson has it. Now dancing with his feet, rolling out, looking for a man downfield. Now he scrambles back the other way, looking, steps, throws downfield, has Isaiah Garcia, Castaneda, makes a catch, 45 of Northwestern to the 40, weaves his way to the 35, 30, 25, 20, up to the bounds. My goodness, what a play. Snap back. They give it off to Anthony Grant, picks his way to the left, breaks a tackle, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Nebraska! Welcome back to the Bank of the West Husker football show. What a week here in Dublin, Ireland for the Cornhuskers. The Ireland committee rolled out the red carpet for Nebraska. We thought we would give you some sights and sounds of the week it was here in Dublin. Oh, it's a one, once in a lifetime experience, honestly. Um, being able to come out here and, you know, it's different. We're not only focused on football, we're focused on learning about a different culture and, you know, really seeing how people live outside of the States. And it's crazy how, <laughs> how different it is out here, you know, from people driving on the opposite side of the road to the traffic lights, it's, it's crazy, but it's different and I'm, I'm enjoying it and taking, that, taking in everything. Uh, really eye-opening. Things are a lot different and really cool, and it's cool to get to see how people live and how their culture over here, so I look forward to many more experiences. I feel like the food tastes a lot different, <laughs> but it still is good. Um, there's not a lot. I haven't seen one pickup truck. Mm -hmm. A lot of cars, <laughs> so that's a little different, too. Yeah, the weather's beautiful. We've seen some sun yesterday, a little cloudy today. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but it's nice and cool football weather. A corn husker. Are you sure it's not hot dog, man? A corn dog? A corn husker dog. 
back with the Bank of West Husker Football Show, Nebraska, back home now after this long road trip for the next month plus four home games. Long way to go, and that's going to be the thing, right? Bounce back, get ready for North Dakota. Yeah, it's a long season. We've got a good team. Uh, we certainly have a lot to clean up on the coaching staff and on the team. Uh, certainly not how we wanted to start. I don't think any of us expected that because of how good we feel about everything. Um, this team's going to have to stick together, and, and, they, and they can do it. All right, have a good week of prep. We're Thank back you. to talk about the North Dakota game next week right here on the Bank of the West Husker Football Show.